everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another huge coloring book flip through, haul, and review. I know that I just did one very recently, probably two videos back, but that was for uh, the company Ava Brown, who sent me a ton of coloring books to be able to review. And so these coloring books here are just ones that either I purchased, uh, some maybe because companies sent them to me. This one here that I'm going to flip through, I know so many of you wanted to see this one. This is Mythographic, the brand new release that just came out a couple days ago. This is Dream Garden. And just a couple things here and there and some books that I have been wanting for a very long time <laughs> and I am just now getting. So I would love to share all of these with you. If you would like to see all of these coloring book flip throughs, stick around. I will have all of these coloring books linked down below in the description box if you see something that you think you may want to purchase for yourself. Down in the description box, I will also have a link to my Facebook group if you would like to join us there, as well as my email list. I also now have an Etsy store, which I will also link down below. And if you go there, you will find a um, 120 Brute Fooner color swatch chart that is all already colored in for you that you can download if you are not someone who wants to swatch out those pencils. For those of you that just received those pencils, you will really love that I have that available. I know so many people have asked. I also have a color combination uh, chart available to you for those of you that have been wanting to follow along with my color combination videos that I've done recently. There is also a link down there for my Patreon if you would like to support me over there. Let's go ahead and get into this coloring book haul and flip through and review. This first book is Mythographic Color and Discover Dream Garden and this book, I don't know, I've never been one that has wanted any of the other coloring books from this series, but I saw this one and I, I don't know, I saw some of the pictures inside of it and I was like, oh my gosh, I really want that coloring book. And I don't have any other one of these coloring books from this series, but let's go ahead and flip through this one so you can see what I mean. And I'm not going to set these to music because I know so many of you appreciate me doing the commentary and talking about the pages and the pencils that would work well on the pages in the book. And that's what we're going to do. <laughs> I could already see that these pages are actually perforated. That is super cool. So if you, are they all, oh, they are. They're all perfect, perforated so that you could tear them out if you wanted to save your artwork after you colored in the pages. But there are some really cool images in here. This one is what, a fountain with a castle on the top, it looks like. There's so many different things mixed into the pages on these, um, or on these images. Look how cute. Oh, these, this artwork is just so different. It's different than anything else that I have really ever colored. I mean, it reminds me a little bit of Kirby, Kirby Rosanna's, but I don't know, but kind of with a twist, I guess. <laughs> Oh man, I can imagine coloring this and really just making that flower right there just pop off of the page with lots of really bright, beautiful colors and really stand out among everything else on the page. These are so different. Oh, look at the fish, sort of like a fish and a castle all in one. Now there was a page in the other book that I was flipping through and there was a gazebo like this. And I kept saying, oh my gosh, I cannot remember for the life of me what those are called. What is it called? And oh goodness, everybody was like, gazebo, gazebo. <laughs> so that page had like a castle within a castle and a gazebo. That was really cool. Oh wow, look at this, what is it, a swan boat? And another gazebo. Hmm. Very, very neat. 
Oh, look how cute. So it's all just a bunch of castles, sort of, like I said, with a twist. I mean, I don't know how else you would explain it, but the images are really, really neat. Wow, look at the water. Just, it's, oh, goodness, I can't even, like, really describe these images. There's just so much imagination that goes into them. I mean, look at this. Look at the girl with all the flowers and it looks like an umbrella that's like mostly covered up with the uh, with the flowers and her face is even hidden these are so different we have a parrot here we have oh my goodness it looks like a pirate boat or a pirate ship coming out of a flower. Yeah, this is kind of like, I don't know, the same as um, Kirby Rosanna's, uh, what's it called, Worlds Within Worlds. It's sort of the same idea. These are so neat. Look at this long stairway. And flowers and leaves. Wow, a lion with water and waves coming up on both sides of the lion. Oh my goodness, I really need to, I don't know, I really need to color one of these pages and see what I can come up with. And the colors, I don't know, I would have to use a color palette definitely for these pages in this book because otherwise, I don't know. I just did a video for y'all that I posted yesterday and it was how to plan out your coloring pages and I think that if you're coloring a book like this that video would be very very useful. I'm going to link that in the upper right hand corner if you didn't already see it. That video has been pretty popular already since I posted it. It's getting a lot of views already so if you've not already seen that make sure you go watch that especially if you're coloring something or you want to um you know attempt to color something that is much more intricate like the pages in this book now let's talk a little bit about the paper the paper is a little bit on the smoother side i don't even know what i would compare this paper to but it is smoother and i find when I am working in books where the paper is smoother, I find that those books are the books that my polychromos work much better in because it's not like a Prismacolor where they're very, very waxy, where the wax just kind of slides around, I guess, is how I would explain it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't like so much. I'm sure the Prismacolors would work well in here because it's smooth, but it's not like overly smooth. I would say there is a tiny, tiny bit of tooth in this paper, but not that much at all. And I'm sure the Prismacolors would work well, but for instance, I was coloring in the, um, in one of the Erie books and I was doing a tutorial and I, brought out my polychromos and I always use my Prismacolors in those books and the Prismacolors work fine. I love the way they work in those books, but I brought out my polychromos and I found that the polychromos were like a dream in those books. And I don't know, I think this paper is a little bit similar. This paper might have a tad bit more tooth than the paper in those books if you're familiar with those books. This artwork is just so different. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> that is so cool. We've got a castle and a moon, and it looks like the ground is just sort of imploding or something. What is it, like an earthquake? Very, very different. Very different. Oh, this one is pretty. Wow. Oh, look at the jellyfish in the sky. That is interesting. Oh, look how long and gorgeous her hair is. Wow. This is a really nice book. Oh, I love this page. For some reason, lately, I've just been into 
wanting to color houses and like the shingles on houses are so much fun to color to, for me and I don't even know why. <laughs> I really don't know why. Look at this really cool looking building. Lots of flowers here in the front. Oh, and palm trees. And the ink is pretty dark in this book. Some of the line art is very, very, very intricate, if you can see that. Very, very tiny spaces. So, I don't know, I guess that's why it reminds me so much of Worlds Within Worlds, because if you're familiar with that book, you would know that there are very small, small spaces and the line art looks very, very similar to this. There's a lot of images in this book. Oh, that's what I was thinking as I was flipping through, but I didn't want to say it because I was unsure, but apparently it is a hidden objects book. And so here's the answer key, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. But it tells you where all of the hidden objects are. Does it tell you in the beginning of the book that this is a hidden objects book? I'll have to turn back and look, but it gives you the whole answer key, as you can see and it actually has them circled so that you can find them on the pages. And then when you get to the back of the book, it shows you all of the different books that are available. If any of you have colored in any of the books from this series, I would love if you would share some of those uh, with me in my Facebook group because I would love to see some images colored in this book. I don't see them too often. And I can't wait to see some of the images that are colored in this book, but I wanted to see if it says here, it says color and discover, but does it actually, it doesn't tell you that it is a, yeah, it doesn't tell you. So you don't really know until you get to the back of the book with the answer key that it has hidden objects in there. Hmm. I guess you're just supposed to assume because it says color and discover. <laughs> I don't know. That is the only part of it that I would assume is sort of a hint that that's what kind of book it is. But that is Mythographic Dream Garden. Of course, I'll have the link down in the description box below if you are interested in grabbing this book for yourself. The next book I have is... Uh, Mermaid Whimsy. This is a new release by Deborah Muller. Y'all know how much I love her books. She's one of my favorite artists and a lot of that is because she is where I started when I was a beginner and her books just bring back so many memories for me. And so I always, always go back to her books. She has a little bit of something for absolutely everyone. She has books with portraits. She has mermaids and I don't know. She just has so much. So, so much. If you've been following my channel, you always, always will see Deborah Muller flip throughs because every time she releases a new book, she sends them right out to me and she knows how much I love her artwork and I love sharing her stuff. And I'm actually going to have some, um, some worksheets available in my Etsy store very, very soon. I've not gotten to those yet because I'm still working on my uh, blending and color combination tutorial, um, a very interactive workbook. And I'm working on that and it's very close to done. It should be up in the next couple days. But after that, I'm gonna start working on worksheets and she is actually helping me with all of the artwork. So I am so excited about that. She sent me lots of artwork so that I can match it with color combinations and show y'all how to color different things and provide worksheets and everything else. So I am so excited about that. So thank you, Deborah. But this book is going to be all mermaids. And of course, this is Amazon printed, so it's going to have the Amazon paper. I love using my Prismacolors when I am coloring on the Amazon paper. The other pencils that work fabulously in these books are my Pablo pencils. I love using my Pablo pencils on the Amazon paper. They blend beautifully. 
and I don't know that gives you two different ideas because the Pablo pencils they go down in very light layers and they are um, an oil based pencil and so you have to apply them differently they don't just go down with a lot of pigment all at once like something like a Prismacolor that's wax based and so that gives you two different options whether you want to work with oil based pencils or wax based pencils in these books but I found when I was doing a tutorial one time that my Pablo's worked really really well but look at these adorable little mermaids in this book. This is so cute. When you're coloring mermaids, it's always fun to have the scales actually uh, drawn out like this on the mermaids because you could come in there and draw uh, iridescent tails, which looks really, really cool. If you did not already see my video where I did mermaid wings and made them iridescent, I will link that video up in the upper right hand corner because it was a really cool video and so many of you really loved it but it's an actual tutorial and shows you how to do that. You can use the same idea on a mermaid tail and if you were doing a mermaid, I would just change the colors up a little bit and use colors like purples and blues and pinks and teals and I don't know, just different mermaid colors. Oh, look at this one, how cute. We've got a mermaid in the water with a little unicorn. All of the books that I'm showing you will be in the description box below, so make sure you check down there so that you can find those links. I always make everything available in my description boxes. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, she's upside down. <laughs> Fish over the top. This one would be really fun to do like a black background on. And those of you that are not familiar with black backgrounds, like with this book, I probably wouldn't take acrylic to it to do like an acrylic black background, which I know a lot of people do. With something like this, I would slide a piece of paper back behind the page and I would just use a black alcohol marker to color in the entire back in black or the background and then make everything else. It will just, it just makes everything else on the page really pop and stand out. And with the colors that you could put in the scales um, on the mermaid's tail, Oh man, that would just be so, so cool looking. See, these, I talked about it in my video yesterday, but when you're flipping through a book and, oh, I skipped a page, but when you're flipping through a book and you instantly get ideas of how to color the pages, that is the page that you want to color. I talked about it yesterday in my video because so many of us sort of lose our coloring mojo is that what you'd like to call it i don't know <laughs> but um i don't know we kind of just lose the inspiration or whatever or we find that we're just not motivated to want to color anything and i made that's that was most of the reason i made that video yesterday because it happens to everybody and if you go into your pages without a plan and you don't know exactly what you want to color then, I don't know, you're just not gonna wanna color. The video will definitely be linked up in the upper right hand corner because there was so much helpful information in that video. This one was Mermaid Whimsy by Deborah Muller. I really love that book, it's adorable. Y'all, look what I have. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. This is Grazia Salvo Wild Soul. This is her newer release. I am not, I can't remember when this one was released, but it is available for hard or on in a hardback book or a hardcover in her Etsy store. But if you order from her Etsy store, it takes quite a while to get it because if you're in the US, of course it is being shipped from another country. So you have to pay the shipping fees, which are pretty high and everything else. And so when I saw this in the Amazon store, I was absolutely thrilled. So I'm gonna share this one with you today and I have another one of her books to share with you that is an older one that I've been wanting for a very long time. And I know that you can go into her Etsy store and you can print out the PDFs. I always like to have the books as well because I look at my coloring books as a collection of coloring books. It's my collection. Some of them I don't even wanna color in and I will just open the books 
and to lay them flat and I'll make copies or scan the photos into my computer and print them out on any paper I want. Now this book is a grayscale book. I believe that most all of her pages or her coloring books that are available are grayscale and they are a beautiful grayscale to color. So let's go ahead and start flipping through this one. Again, this is by Grazia Salvo and this is Wild Soul. Now this, it says here Amazon soft cover edition. This is not Amazon paper and I wanna show you something. This Deborah Muller book is the normal size of what would be printed on Amazon paper. And if you look down here to the bottom, you can see that it is definitely not the same size. So this is not printed on the Amazon book. It is her version of the Amazon soft cover edition. And I did hear, I don't know how true it is, but I heard somebody say that this, this book in hardcover is going to be available on Amazon. If it does, I'm definitely purchasing the hardcover. But I know if you order from her Etsy store that you will also, um, if, you, if you order the hardcover, you will also get her book with her um, signature on it, which is really, really cool. So it says Amazon edition. When we open to the first page, it says, Animals are special creatures, and in this book, I wanted to tell through images about the deep and silent bond that unites us with them. Once again, women are at the center of my images, but this time depicted together with the living things that make the world a more beautiful place. I tried to capture the empathy between a human and an animal, the harmony between our wild nature and their soul. I sought the beauty that comes from a resemblance and contrast, from strength and fragility, from majesty and tenderness. Everything is connected, and our fear of our attraction to animals are the instinctive responses that remind us of being part of this earth. Our return to wildlife. They are our guides to find a truer road and every drawing is a love story. Grazia Salvo. That is so, oh my goodness, her writing is amazing. So not only is she an amazing artist, <laughs> she is an amazing writer too. But when you flip open the book, you will see that it says here, list of graphics. And then each page actually has a name, and I believe each one. So number one says flamingo, so we're gonna we'll see a flamingo on the first page. Let me hold this a little closer so y'all can see, and I'll go down the list so you can see that it is all of the different animals that are represented in the book. So her grayscale is absolutely beautiful. It really is, and look at. The black background here so when you color that in that is just really going to pop I wonder if they all have a black background that is just beautiful look at the flamingo oh my goodness okay so that one had a black background this one does not this is beautiful so we have a kitten oh my gosh look at all the detail in even the eyebrows oh this I don't know, I think I might like this better than the book that I have, The Flowers and Gems. I know I show that book a lot because I really, really love that book. On Amazon, you could actually purchase that book, uh, spiral bound with really, really nice paper. So it's not like these where it is actually soft back with the softer paper, or with the thinner paper, I should say. But this paper is pretty smooth as well. It has a very tiny, tiny bit of tooth but not as much. Let me compare it to the Amazon paper here and so I could really see the difference. It looks like it is, oh, I don't know, the Amazon paper does actually look whiter, but that may be because this is grayscale and you could see the background looks a little bit gray here. But if I put it all the way to the top here, they actually look like they are the same color for the most part. I don't know if you know this, but some papers are brighter white. Some of them are not as white. But if I feel the pages, let me see the difference. They're about the same. This paper is smoother than the Amazon paper. 
so yeah that paper this is definitely smoother paper so I don't know maybe polychromos possibly I'm gonna have to try some pencils out on this paper and see I mean there's a little bit of tooth but not much at all look at the detail in the eyebrows oh my goodness let me hold this closer so y'all could see this this artwork is amazing look how detailed look at the animals look at that panther look at his eyes <laughs> wow and then of course she has gems here oh man she loves doing girls with gems hence her other book called flowers and gems all of the girls had gems on and i love pulling my gel pens out for that oh wow does she have freckles <laughs> look at this Wow. Oh my goodness. Y'all, if you want to learn how to practice fur on some of these animals, this is the perfect book to do that. The images are just beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at this one. I have seen this one colored. And some of you are doing a beautiful job on these pages. Oh, look at the little lemur. Oh my goodness. Look at his tail. Oh. Wow. Another one with a black background with the deer. Look at those antlers. These are, this is just so realistic. Her artwork is amazing. Oh, I love this one with the butterflies. Butterflies and flowers. That's my thing. Look at that horse. Of course, she had to go all the way out of her way and make the horse look beautiful and just so majestic. Wow. Look at the gems. Here we have a chimpanzee. Oh, look how cute he is. <laughs> and there are so many different hairstyles in these books, too, if you want to practice hair. This is a great book. I mean, you're practicing hair and skin and animals so you could practice coloring fur and all the fur is pretty much already drawn in so you could come in here and really make this look really really re really realistic there i go again trying to say that it's such a tongue twister and if you look at the eyebrows you get to really practice making eyebrows look realistic as well i love this one look at that lion <gasps> Wow. Oh, look at the lamb. This book is amazing. I'm starting to wish I had ordered this in the hardcover, y'all. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to get that one too. Because I just realized I won't be able to copy this on paper because the pages are longer than 8.5 by 11. And I didn't realize that when I ordered this book. I didn't realize that at all. So I guess I will be coloring on this paper. So we'll have to see how that goes. I wonder what size the hardback is. I'll have to check the Etsy store and see. Oh gosh, do we have a peacock? <gasps> I love peacocks. Look at that. Oh my gosh. What I, oh, what I could do to this page blues and teals and greens all the way up in the background behind her hair that would be so beautiful and then blonde hair so so beautiful look at the bunny how cute oh the giraffes this one is so pretty and look at the little girl the mom and the little girl and then the um the adult giraffe and then the baby giraffe this is adorable. Oh, I love these. Look at the parrot. And the dandelions. Penguins. Oh, I love penguins. A leopard. This one gives you the opportunity to really color in a beautiful background, maybe with pastels or something. And then we have a calf. 
And these, this book is really, really great because if you're learning how to color and you're a beginner, it gives you a chance to really practice making things look realistic and you've got all the gray shading uh, in here so that you know exactly where to lay the shadows. If you are practicing skin, you can see that there are shadows right under here where they would go underneath her chin. And that's where they would naturally be. And then over here, behind the ear of the cat, you've got a lot of shadowing and stuff. And so over here, they would just be a little bit lighter. And then here, where the cat is a little bit darker, you would just have to make a really good choice of colors when you were doing the cat. And of course, the cat's probably gonna be darker colors than skin would be anyway. And then we've got a brown bear. Wow, look at this. That is a big bear. And then a wolf with three girls. Look at their eyes. Oh my goodness. And that is the end. Thank you for choosing my art to see my other works. Also discover my Etsy shop. And then of course she has her Etsy shop here where you can find many other printed and PDF books. So I would assume if you went to her Etsy shop and got the PDF copy, it's not going to be this long you'll be able to print those out on your eight and a half by 11 paper the next one i have is also grazia salvo and this one is kindness the woman of flowers collection so this is going to be all women with flowers this one actually says black outline so maybe this one is not grayscale let me see no it is sort of grayscale so it says black outlines coloring book i don't know really what the difference is she may have other options in her etsy store and this one is the same size as the other one so this is going to be longer than your amazon printed books so she has a little bit of verbiage here on the front page and I'm not going to read through the whole thing of this one but I'll hold it closer so that if you want to take a look and read through it and maybe pause the video you can read through it and see what it says. So let's go ahead and get into the images. Oh look how pretty. Look at the rows. So I don't know what she means by black outlines because to me this is all grayscale. I guess the black outlines means that it's got a much darker outline here. And that will just really help your images to just really stand out and sort of pop even a little bit more as you add color. Look how pretty. I wanted this book for the longest time, but like I said, I didn't want to order it from the Etsy store just because I would have to pay so much for shipping. These books are just so beautiful. And like the cover says, this one's just going to be all women and flowers. And here we have a woman with shorter hair. That's different because you don't very often see that. Most of the time you see women with longer hair. And look at all the different hairstyles. Here's one with shoulder length hair. Oh, this flower is very different. And look at the design on her shirt. Oh, butterflies and flowers. These are the pages that I like to color. Butterflies, flowers, and women is just, I don't know, it just all goes together, right? Look how pretty. This one looks a little bit lighter. Maybe it's just because we've got more white in the background. More gems around her neck and look at the snowflake. Oh goodness, look at the poinsettias. This would be beautiful to color in Christmas colors. Oh, this one is pretty. Her hair is really, really dark, though, in this one. So when you came in and you colored it, you would have to maybe pick some darker colors for the darker areas. But this darker grayscale, all that's going to do is really make these really light areas. You would pick a very light, light color, and you would come in with the light, light, highlight color. And it's just going to make her hair really pop and look like she's got tons of highlights in her hair. This one is really neat because you've got the black background down here and then it sort of fades off into white. That's really, really neat. 
Look at the flowers. So pretty. And then she has a flower tattoo. I love coloring girls that have tattoos. I don't even know why. I just, I don't know, it gives you a chance to be even more creative. And Mariola Budak actually just sent me her new one. I think it's... I think it's titled Yasmin, but she just sent me her new one. Oh, let me flip this around so you can see this one. That's really beautiful. Oh, and they have tattoos again. This one has a gorgeous butterfly tattoo. But she just sent me her new one that has been so popular, and I am really wanting to color that one. It's a girl that has a lot of tattoos, like an eagle tattoo or something, and she's just beautiful. But I'm thinking about actually coloring that one and filming it. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments below. Because, I don't know, I don't too often get to color because I am always filming. <laughs> and since my channel is more of a tutorial type channel, I don't color unless I'm doing like a coloring tutorial. And then I have so many other things that I'm doing on the side because I'm trying to bring you content um, for my Etsy store and really work on this new workbook, this interactive workbook that I'm coming out with. And I have been, oh my goodness, I have just been working on that every spare minute that I've gotten. And it's already at like 30 pages or something quite ridiculous, but it is a full tutorial workbook. And then you've got some blank pages back here. And then on the back, you've got all the images from the book. So that was uh, Grazia Salvo's Kindness, the Women of Flowers collection. So this is my first Rita Berman book and I want to thank Alice who is a subscriber of mine because she gifted me this book. And I looked through all of the books trying to decide which one I wanted to start with. I have a couple others on their way. This was the first one that I received but I believe that Rita Berman has different books. She has an underwater book and then she has these other books that are for the seasons and of course I can't pronounce this because it's in another language but I'm pretty sure this is the summer edition and I want to be able to show you these books I did not know this before I received it, but it's very, very tiny. If I lay my hand right here, you could see the size of the book. And this is Worlds of Wonder, Joanna's book, Joanna Basford's book. And so you can see the difference in the size. If I put this all the way at the top, or let's put it in the corner so you could see the difference in the size. But it stops right here and then stops right here. So that is the difference in the two books. So if you want smaller pages to color, which I really love this because sometimes you don't want to color a big, huge page and you just want to sit and color something that is not going to take you as long. But let's go ahead and look through this one. Okay, so it has the title on the front page. And then of course, I can't read any of this, but it's got some verbiage again on the inside cover. I'll hold it closer for those of you that can read it, <laughs> but I definitely cannot. But the images in her books, I've been wanting one of her books for the longest time and they were all in my, um, or on my Amazon wish list and Alice saw it and she was like get yourself the books that you want she's so so sweet so sweet but I love the images in this book now it is not going to be they, they are all double-sided so you probably don't want to take out your markers or anything and use them on these pages unless you don't mind that the page behind is going to be destroyed because it will uh, bleed through. But there are some adorable images in this book. I saw this one colored and that's what made me want to get this particular book because I thought that sun was so neat and this would be just a really quick color and wouldn't take that much time. You've got the clouds over here and then the sun and then you could do a really neat looking background. And then this is a double page spread that I would actually do because it's not overwhelming to where I'm looking at it and it just looks so big. Like 
we've got books like Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby Rosanis and you know some of his other books and he's got some double double page spreads at least in Worlds Within Worlds I know he has double page spreads I believe in his other books as well but I look at those and it just really overwhelms me and because I know I'm a slow colorist and I don't want to spend that much time and I feel like by the time I get done coloring one page I'm not going to want to go back and finish it to make it a double page spread. <laughs> I love Joanna's new book Worlds of Wonder because she has some pages in there that look like they could be a double page spread but they are you know they could be colored individually but the paper in this book it is smoother again but it's not as smooth as some of the other ones that I have previously showed and it has a very tiny bit of tooth I would assume that Prismacolors would work just fine in this book and some of your budget friendly pencils don't ever you, it, yeah pull out your budget friendly pencils and use those and start getting familiar with some of the new budget friendly pencils that you bought I know so many of us are buying pencils and buying pencils and buying pencils and I don't know I, I I can't imagine that everybody uses all of the pencils that they purchase I would assume that it turns into like I just want to collect everything <laughs> We all have that problem, but you need to use the supplies that you have and stop buying. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so look at, I love this page. This would look so beautiful colored in because there is just so much going on and there's no background space. There's actually a tree, it looks like. It looks like a tree falling back here over the house. Is that what that is? I'm assuming because I see like the little leaves hanging here. Or maybe this is, maybe these, oh, these are the shingles of the house, I think, but they're kind of, I don't know. I'm confused as to whether those are shingles and these are leaves or a tree hanging down over them because they're sort of laying funny. And then over here we have a lounge chair. Lots of decorations in this book. There's so much going on. This one is adorable. I've seen this one colored in before and it is the cutest thing ever. You could put so much color, bring so much color into that double page spread. This is a cute, really fun um, color or coloring page that would not take you that long. And there's lots of patterns if you want to practice coloring in patterns using contrasting colors. Oh, and this one looks really fun. There are some really cute pages in this book. Oh, look at this one with the black background. Again, you can really make that pop and stand out. And you don't even need to use your markers and ruin the back of the other pages because you've already got the black uh, background already colored in. Oh, I love this one. Look at this, the little frogs on the lily pad. How cute. And look at all of the imagination that went into these ducks. Wow. Again, this is a great page to just practice coloring in patterns using contrasting colors. I see a lot of patterns in this book, a lot of patterned artwork, which is really, really cool. Because here you're able to practice some of the patterns or coloring in some of the patterns, and then you still have flowers to color in as well. Oh, and then on that previous page, we had some strawberries. We all need to learn how to color fruit. Fruit is one of the most fun things to color because you could really get artistic. Pull up a page or a picture on Google Images and just copy it so that you know where to lay your colors when you're coloring fruit. Oh, and look, here's a fruit stand. Oh, I love this book. Lots more fruit and veggies. Oh, these are all veggies, I think. Yes, yeah, so lots of vegetables, double page spread, but you could always come in here and color each thing in individually if you wanted to. A picnic table with lots of food. This is so cute. I'm going to start flipping through this just a little bit faster. So if you need to pause the video to look at the page a little bit longer, feel free to do so. I love this page with the flowers, but I still have, um, I believe, two more books over there that I need to fit into this video, and I'm sure we're getting quite long already. Look at all the seashells. 
Oh, I love that. Seashells with patterns. Again, lots of patterns. And another one. This is kind of like a mandala type um, seashell picture. Very interesting. Oh, is this the page on the front cover? I believe it is. Yep. So you get the page from the... Yeah, it is. So you get the page from the front cover. You get to color that in. You could actually copy the front cover if you wanted to. And this one looks like a double page spread where you could actually do each one individually and color them completely different and not necessarily use it as a double page spread. Because you could see that some of the artwork is going over here into the side and then the clouds sort of carry over. But they still look like they are two individual pages. Now this one, if, you, if you're in the U.S. and you order this on Amazon, you're not going to get it as quickly um, because they're not on Prime. So this one took quite a while to get to me. And that's why I thought that's probably why it took so long for me to order these because I don't know I don't like waiting and I guess I have to tell myself oh, you're waiting anyway because you're not ordering it <laughs> uh. <laughs> and then it just shows us oh these are the other books that are available so yeah this is part of her different seasons did I pass one no so that was the last page and then it shows us the other books that are available. So this is the winter one. And I cannot read that one. But these are the other books in the series. Which I assume are just different seasons. And this is the back cover. And then of course, I can't read what it says. But look how cute the back cover of this book is. That is a super, super cute book. I was really excited to get that one. This one is Colorful Celebrations by Color It. This is a new release. This was just released very, very recently. And so we're gonna get to flip through this one. Y'all know that I always show you the Color It coloring books <laughs> because they are kind enough to send these to me and I love having these in my collection. And so you can see that I've not even opened it because I was waiting for y'all. <laughs> Isn't that so sweet of me? <laughs> I have to leave my coloring books just sitting when I receive them because I need to show them and share them with all of you. So I have to just wait. <laughs> So again, this is Colorful Celebrations, holidays and festivals around the world, 50 original hand-drawn designs, adult coloring book. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. So when you flip open to the first page, of course, it says Colorful Celebrations, holidays and festivals around the world, first edition. This is coloring book number 39. They've got tons and tons of coloring books. I will have the link down below, and I will possibly also have a coupon code for y'all if you're interested in this book. But this is the table of contents and it's just going to tell you exactly which festival each one of these are from and i'm holding it a little bit closer just so y'all can get a quick look but we've got venice carnival in italy up there in the corner so that's going to be the first one elephant festival in india oh that's cool flower festival in portugal Lake Turkana Festival in Kenya, Winter Festival in Russia, Cinco de Mayo in Mexico, and I'm not going to read through all of them. That'll just give you an idea of what you're going to get in this book. And then here it just says, color your way to these delightful celebrations. As with all of the Color It coloring books, you'll have the QR code, and if you scan that QR code there, it will take you to their website to where you can see about their book club. And then they also provide you with some fun color palettes to use on some of the pages. So like here we have Mexico's Day of the Dead and it tells you exactly what it is. Honors the deceased with a lively parade filled with colorful sugar skulls, flashy costumes, and plenty of good vibes. Channel the energy of the festivity by coloring your art with yellow, orange, and red. So it's giving you suggestions of colors 
it gives you the little color palette up here so you can bring those colors to that page if you wanted to this is also the blotter page so if you wanted to tear this out up at the top and slide it behind one of your pages you could do that as well now all of these books are spiral bound the paper is a smoother paper so it's great for alcohol markers and um, gel pens and things like that you can also use alcohol markers and then come in and do pencils over it. I actually did a video where I showed their jungle book and I used alcohol markers and really brought an elephant to life because I laid my Prismacolor colored pencils over it creating all of the shadows and all of that and it turned out beautiful. I'll link that in the upper right hand corner so that you could check that out. I also did a video where I did gel pen blending on these pages in their other newer release which is their fairies book so I'll make sure both of those are linked up in the upper right hand corner so that you can check those out so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to set this one to some music as I flip through because I'm going to a lot of the pages are portrait and summer landscape and so I'm going to have to keep going back and forth flipping them through and it's just easier to do this one to music
that was Colorful Celebrations, Holidays and Festivals Around the World by Color It. And I will have a link down in the description box below, hopefully with a coupon code that you all can use to get, I think, 10% off. The next one that I have is also by Color It, and this is a book I've been wanting for quite a while. And as you can see, it's not even opened yet because I have to wait for y'all so that I could share the book. <laughs> So I've not even gotten to color in here yet, but I've been really busy, so I've not really even had a chance to color, so it's okay. But this is Delightful Desserts and Sweet Treats, and Color It was so nice because they watched my last video where I showed their coloring books, <laughs> and they must have heard me say that this was the book I wanted, and she was like, I am going to also send you out a copy of Delightful Desserts and Sweet Treats, and I was so excited about that. So thank you Color It for sending me this other book that's not a new release because <laughs> I've been wanting this for a while because I really want to practice coloring, uh, coloring food. We get to unwrap this one. And let's take a look through this one together. I'm wondering if I'm going to have to do a lot of flipping back and forth because this one is all portrait and landscape as well. <laughs> We will find out, but again, this one is 50 original hand-drawn designs as well, adult coloring book, and this one too is spiral bound and perforated just as the last one was, and I'm not going to tell too much about this coloring book and what you, you know, the mediums you can use because it's going to be the same as the previous one and all of the other color reviews that I've done. So this is book number 35. So this, what, what is this, four books ago? I think the other one just now said book 39. So this might be four books ago. So this is a newer release. Oh, goodness. <laughs> is this book going to make me hungry? Oh, how cute. I knew I loved this book. Oh, wow. Look at it. It's like a candy mandala. That is so neat. I love all the desserts and the sweet treats. Look at the cute little gingerbread cookies. Lots of cakes on the dishes. Oh, here we go. I'm going to have to turn it around so y'all can see. Look at the pies or the cakes. Yeah, cakes. Oh, and we've got one big, big cake on this page. This is really great practice for being able to learn how to color frosting and such. And that is a skill in and of itself. <laughs> and I've not done it yet, so we'll see what I could come up with. Oh, how cute. Color it ice cream. Now that's adorable. <laughs> Look at the little ice cream truck. Oh, I love it. I can't tell if this one is supposed to be landscape or portrait. I think I have it going the wrong direction because of the way the hands are, but that's okay. You all can see the image. I've been doing so much flipping for these last couple books. This is a mandala. Oh, and how cute. Look at the donuts. It looks like they were just cooked and they're still on the wire rack, or maybe they just put the icing on them and the sprinkles. Here we have lots of different cupcakes. And more cookies. This is the cutest book. I love this book. I saw a flip through of this book and I was just like, oh my gosh, I want that book so bad. It's just different. Like, when do you see a book just full of treats and candies and goodies? Look at the macaroons. That would be so pretty to color every one of those macaroons a different color. Like the, you know, like the pastel-y shades. Oh my gosh, get out your whole binds. <laughs> get out your whole binds and color this page in all pastel uh, macaroon colors. Here's another one. And then we've got wine glasses. This one's different. Oh, this is a Halloween image. Oh wow, I love this book. 
These are so creative. Look at that. Like if you go to like a specialty ice cream shop, that's where you would find something like that. And then we've got this dish of strawberries. So you've got lots of fruit practice. We have a pie. This one is very different. Very different. That would be really neat to color though. Like it looks like there's like leaves or whatever on the pie. You would really have to use your imagination for that one. Oh, then we have like a beach scene with some fruit and ice cream and chocolate. My favorite thing ever. <laughs> Let's flip back around again. Cupcakes, a whole page of cupcakes, a whole page of pies. Gingerbread houses, that would be fun to color. Oh my goodness, I knew I loved this book. This is really cute too. There's a lot of Christmassy images in here. A box full of lollipops from a candy shop. And then let's see, what is this one? We have to turn it around again to be able to see. Oh, this is so cute, it's like a candy land. Oh wow, this is adorable. And then this one, we need to flip around again. Every time I flip around, I feel like the um, my arm is getting in the way of the lighting. <laughs> so I'm creating a shadow. My video is not gonna look very good. That's okay though. <laughs> Y'all are not able to, or y'all are able to see the pictures in the right direction. <laughs> oh, okay, so we have a woman sitting in a treat shop. She has her shake, and it looks like she has some pancakes. And then we got to go back up this way. Oh wow, another beach scene. Well, I would think that that ice cream sundae is just melting out there on the beach. <laughs> and then we have a plate full of some goodies. Oh, and we've got some towels and some cooking mitts. And then another mandala type candy page. That's really neat. Oh, and then we've got another Halloween one. Trick or treat, lots of candy and some lanterns. Oh, and then we got a cool building back here and some creepy looking trees. Here we have lots of popsicles and cupcakes. Did I turn it the right way? I think it is the right way. We should have a cupcake on top of another cupcake. That would look really cool colored in. That's really creative. Here we have another Christmassy type page. Oh, and this is like scenery, like looking out the window and we see some uh, mountains and such. And then we've got waffles with strawberries on top. A whole page of cupcakes. This would be fun if you just wanted to practice coloring one individual cupcake. Another one where we're just looking out the window. This would be really cool to create a scene there and color it all in blue for the sky. Different shades of blue, of course, with maybe some white. Make it look like a really beautiful sky. And then we have some more popsicles. Oh, a little girl eating cotton candy. That is so cute. Oh, look at this one. Is it like a wedding cake? Or maybe, I don't know. Would that be a wedding cake? Maybe not. Maybe so. Maybe it's not. <laughs> but it's like a cake with all the little cupcakes all around it. And we've got little teacups here. It's so cute. 
And that is all of the images in that book. And that one wasn't so bad flipping back and forth. The other one was so much, I just really had to set it to music for y'all because I did so much flipping and it's going to require more editing. But I hope that one was okay with y'all because I know a lot of you tell me you don't want me to set it to music because you want to be able to hear my commentary as I flip through the books and review them. So I hope you didn't mind for that one. <laughs> That was quite a few coloring books, and I hope you enjoyed this coloring book haul. I think that there was a little bit of something for everyone in this haul, and I know that I just did one very recently. I'll link that one in the upper right-hand corner so you could check that out. But I love doing these videos, and I know that y'all love watching them because I like to bring these videos to you because a lot of times there's coloring books that maybe you've never seen before, and I don't like doing individual flip throughs on my channel just because, I don't know, it's, it's too much editing and uploading and all of that stuff just for one book. So I like doing them like this, making them really long and I hope y'all appreciate that and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have every single one of these coloring books linked in the description box below and I will have also hopefully a discount code for the new um, color book, The Colorful Celebrations. And I will see y'all in the next video. Happy coloring, bye.